Shalom brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Today I will share a dream from a few days ago on November 23, 2022. It's like a story in this dream but only a short part of this dream I can remember when I woke up. I feel like to share this dream because I feel there is a message in this dream. In the dream, I saw that there were three people in a car. The car was not running, it was stopped at a certain place. It seemed that all of them were women. I didn't see their faces clearly and I didn't recognize them. But they looked like Western women or Americans. They were not from my country for sure. So in this dream, I was like watching a movie and I was outside the story in this dream. The situation was in the night. Then I saw a woman running hurriedly toward the car and talking to the three women who were in the car. The woman reminded them that they had to get out of the car immediately because something dangerous would happen if they did, did not get out of the car. But the three women who were in the car mocked, insulted and laughed, laughed at the woman who reminded them. It seemed that this woman was a close friend of the three women in the car. The three women stayed in this, their car and ignored the messages their friend had sent them. Not long after that, suddenly from above, I saw an object, like a very huge iron fall and hit the car from above. This huge iron fell so fast and hard that they did not have time to save themselves. In this dream, I felt that this big iron was an instrument of destruction that are used at car shader. I felt like the car was hit hard from above, not on, only one hit and had destroyed the car and the fate of the three women in the car was extremely terrible. Then I saw the woman who reminded them before when she saw all that happened and the fate of their, her friends. She was terrified. She fell down on her knees and cried until her face touched the ground. Brothers and sisters, actually I don't feel like to share this dream because this is not a good dream and a bit scary for me to see all the things that I saw in this dream. But I feel there is an important message in this dream. Brothers and sisters, the three women inside the car represent the people that live according to this world, keep rejecting, laughing, and mocking at igno and ignoring the message from God. The car itself represents the world. They are inside the car, it symbolizes their live, speak, and act according or like this world, or live worldly. Maybe they call themselves Christian, but when we see their life, they are not following Jesus, but following the world. Following their flesh, they live according to the standard of this world, compromising their faith to Jesus so they can be accepted by the world, live a sinful, worldly lifestyle. The woman that is calling them out of the car represents the true messengers, servants, or watchmen that God sends to them to warn them to get out of this world, to get out of or repent from their worldly, sinful lifestyle, and turn to God. In this dream, these three people are laughing, mocking, and, ig and ignoring the message from their friend. This represents the mockers and scoffers in these last days that live according to their flesh and reject the message from the Holy Spirit. They stay in the car, it means they keep living worldly according to their flesh or continue living in sins. The huge iron that strikes the car from above represents the judgment or the wrath of God that falls on the wicked or unrepentant people. From above can represent from God. This wrath will be very strong and sudden, brothers and sisters, because when I saw it in this dream, it was like one strong strike from above and it's done. The car is destroyed and three people died suddenly. So they don't have time to get out of the car to save themselves. They don't even know they will die suddenly. They won't have time to repent at that time. I saw this car being struck by anger from above and it just happened in some seconds, but the car was completely destroyed. It is also interesting that I feel the place I saw in this dream is like a car shredder. I feel this car which symbolizes the world is going to be judged by God completely. I mean God already sees that this world cannot be repaired anymore, so he will just throw it away. So it's like in the days of Noah where God is so sick with this world and the sinful lifestyle of humans. Wickedness that is happening now is more terrible than in the days of Noah or Sodom and Gomorrah. So God will just destroy this world completely. 
It's our choice now whether we want to stay inside the car that will be destroyed soon by God, and we will be destroyed too with this war, or we choose to get out of the car, which means we must repent from all the sinful worldly lifestyle, and we will be saved. This is also the message for those who always say that it is simple and easy to be saved, which is the way of Satan. Jesus never said it is simple and easy. These false teachers are making as simple as they can, as easy as they can. Just believe in Jesus, they said. No need to repent, no need to follow Jesus, no need to keep the commandments and make many unbiblical conclusions based on one or two verses in the scripture. This is a warning for them. If they keep saying and preaching it is simple and easy, God will also make it simple and easy with them. It's what I heard in the Spirit. He will just cut them off and throw them into the lake of fire. It's all about action. We cannot claim that we are a good tree if we are producing a bad fruit. The Bible said the good tree will produce the good fruit and a bad tree will produce the bad fruit. And for the bad tree, the final judgment for them if they don't repent is being thrown into the fire, or with other words, will be thrown into hell. Let us read from Matthew chapter 7, verse 17 to 20. A good tree produces good fruit, and a bad tree produces bad fruit. A good tree cannot produce bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot produce good fruit. So every tree that does not produce good fruit is chopped down and thrown into the fire. Yes, just as you can identify a tree by its fruit, so you can identify people by their actions. That's all I'd like to share, brothers and sisters. Hope this can help us to prepare for the coming of Jesus. If you have any comments about this dream, can share it in the comment section below. And if you need prayer, you can send email to me or share it in the comment section. May Jesus, our Lord and Savior, bless us all. Love you all, brothers and sisters, and thank you for listening. Bye.